In Ukraine, we do gifts for New Year's, but in Germany, we do them for Christmas. So does it mean that I get to receive gifts twice? Welcome to the Happy Wife's Memoirs. Let's start the Christmas magic. <laughs> when I think back about my first Christmas in Germany, I get tears in my eyes because of just how magical that experience was. In Ukraine, December is usually the busiest month in the year. Everyone is trying to finish all of their tasks and buy presents and decorate and it's just so busy that the holiday mood doesn't really start until New Year's. But Germany, Germany is very different. Here December feels like the slowest month in the year and there is so much beauty in it. The Christmas mood really begins on the 1st of December because that is when you start opening your advance calendar. It's a calendar in which every day you get either a little treat or a little gift. The next magic is all about Adventskranz. Each Sunday before Christmas we lit one candle. Each Advent is a good reason to meet up with your friends or family. But my favorite part is of course decorating the Christmas tree. For our very first Christmas tree we bought a set of red and gold balls, but now I'm trying to collect more interesting pieces every year. I like spending December in a cozy atmosphere. We watch Christmas movies, we cuddle, we drink blue wine and hot chocolate, and we just try to spend as much of quality time with our friends and family as possible. I also like using December to reflect on the past year. The week between Christmas and New Year's, Germans call the time between the years and I like to use a time to plan uh, my next year. So before then, I like to sit down and write down all of the achievements and lessons of the past year and I write down a list of things that I'm grateful for and look back at my plans for the year that I wrote down last year and I evaluate which plans I have achieved and then I write down the gratitude for them and then I look at the plans that I haven't achieved and I analyze whether those were my true wishes or whether they came to me from the external influence and then I decide whether I need to say goodbye to them or whether I need to evaluate why I haven't achieved them and how I can achieve them in the next year. My Christmas tree in Ukraine didn't look anything like this and I am extremely grateful and proud of what I've achieved. Remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. I wish you the merriest Christmas time and I'll see you next time. Bye! This winter, Christmas in Ukraine won't be nearly as merry and bright. If you have a chance to support Ukraine, there is a link for donation in the description. Thank you very much and have a peaceful sky above your head.